Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Many microwave oven repairs will require you to disassemble the appliance. Because of the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens, please be aware that this appliance poses a substantial risk for injury or death if precautions are not taken. You should always unplug the microwave before you attempt any disassembly. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. To access the turntable motor and lower light socket, simply release the bottom panel by using a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws. When the repair is complete, lift up the bottom panel and secure it with the screws. To reach the charcoal filter, use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws securing the grill. Pull the grill forward from the top to remove. You can remove the filter by pushing it up to free it from the lower tabs, then pull it forward. To detach the control panel, open the oven door and remove the mounting screw securing the control panel. Lift the panel up to detach. To reach the fuse and diode, unthread the screws securing the inner access panel. Remove the panel. To avoid injury, you should release the potentially stored electrical charge in the capacitor before reaching into the appliance. You can do this by placing a screwdriver with an insulated handle across the terminals. Be very careful not to touch the screwdriver blade. When the repair is completed, Replace the inner access panel and rethread the screws to secure. To fully remove the control panel and access the main control board, note the orientation of the wires connected to the board. Then depress the locking tabs, if necessary, to disconnect the wires. Free the hinge tab from the front panel and remove the screw and washer securing the grounding wire. If you need to access the interlock door switches, thermistor, or cavity thermostat, remove the screws securing the plastic control panel backing. Detach the control board wires from the channel, release the sensor wire, and set the backing aside to reach the components inside. With the repair complete, reattach the sensor wire to the control panel backing. Then align the wire and the control board wires in the respective channels. Reposition the backing. and replace the screws to secure. Reinstall the control panel by first securing the grounding wire with the screw and washer. Insert the hinge tab into the front panel and reconnect the wires to the appropriate terminals on the board.
insert the control panel tabs into the front panel slots and push the panel down. Replace the mounting screw to secure. To remove the door assembly, use a T10 Torx bit screwdriver to unthread the upper mounting pin. With the pin removed, you can detach the door. If you need to replace the door handle, use a putty knife to help pry off the door trim. This will require some effort. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws securing the inner and outer door panels together. Use a large flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs, holding the inner panel in place. Detach the inner panel. You can now use a T20 Torx bit screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws to release the door handle. Reinstall or replace the handle by first inserting a screw through the outer panel. Then align the handle and begin threading the screw. Insert the second mounting screw and rethread both screws to secure. Realign the inner panel on the outer panel and snap it into place. Secure it with the screws. Realign the door trim and snap it into position. Realign the door assembly on the hinges and rethread the mounting pin to secure. Realign the grill and snap it into place. Then rethread the screws. To access components like the blower assembly, the transformer, or the noise filter board, you will need to uninstall the appliance. Have an assistant support the microwave while you remove the mounting bolts from the upper cabinet. Carefully tilt the microwave down and pull the power cord through the hole in the cabinet. Now lift the microwave off of the rear mounting bracket and set it on a sturdy surface resting on a towel or blanket. If you haven't already done so, unthread the screws securing the grill and pull the grill off. If still in place, remove the glass turntable and support. Now tip the microwave so it rests on its back panel. And remove the bottom panel by using a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws.
With the screws removed, pull the panel away from the base and disconnect the wire harness. Detach the grommet from the frame and pull the wire free. Note the orientation of the turntable motor wires, then slide off the insulators. Depress the locking tabs to disconnect the wires, and you can fully remove the bottom panel. Return the microwave to its upright position, and remove all of the screws securing the cabinet. Unthread the screws securing the blower cover and remove the cover. You can now fully remove the cabinet. After the repair has been completed, make sure the power cord is secured. Then reposition the cabinet by aligning the top edge first. Push the sides forward, making sure the cabinet tabs align with the frame. Replace the screws to secure the cabinet. Reposition the blower cover and secure it with the screws. Rest the microwave on its back panel. Replace the bottom panel by first reconnecting the turntable motor wires to the appropriate terminals. Slide on the insulators. Align the wire in the frame and secure it with the grommet. Then reconnect the wire harness. Fully reposition the bottom panel and secure it with the screws. Return the microwave to its upright position. Realign the grill and snap it into place. Then rethread the screws. Now carefully reposition the microwave on the mounting bracket by hooking the back edge of the appliance on the bracket tabs. Insert the power cord through the hole in the upper cabinet. Lift the microwave up and secure the mounting bolts. With the appliance fully reinstalled, plug the power cord back in. Replace the turntable and support, and your microwave oven should be ready for use. <laughs>